You can manage your entire day in the WebEx app without ever having to leave. For meetings, messages, calling, and more. It's a one-stop shop for collaboration. So, let's spend just a few minutes getting started with the app. Let's take a quick look at the left side menu, your main hub for navigating the app. Starting from the top, you will see Messaging This is where your conversations happen. Chat with individuals or in spaces, share files, and stay connected with your team. Meetings View your upcoming meetings, schedule new ones, or join with a single click. It syncs with your calendar to keep everything in one place. Calling If enabled, you can make and receive calls using WebEx. Teams Organize your workspaces by project or department. Each team can have multiple spaces to keep conversations and content focused. And last, contacts. Quickly access your colleagues' profiles, start chats, or schedule meetings right from here. As you explore, hover over each icon to see its name or click to dive in. In the WebEx app, so much can be done to manage your day, and it all starts with your availability and status. Click on your avatar to update your availability and status and let everyone know what you're doing. Clicking on availability will allow you to set a do not disturb status. You can choose from any of these increments or you can set your own time and tell the WebEx app when you'd like to come from do not disturb. You can also clear this at any time just by visiting the avatar again. Create a custom status or choose from one of your existing statuses. To create a new custom status, just type in the box provided. You can even include an emoji. Again, choose when you want to clear that status and remember, you can always go in at any point to have it cleared. Your profile picture and display name are managed by your administrator and cannot be changed manually. However, you can personalize your profile by adding a splash of color with a cover image. Simply pick your preferred color and click save. And now that you're showing us who you are, let's start collaborating. So much of this happens through messaging. You can click on one of my spaces. You'll also see that there are tabs for direct spaces to contact just one other person, spaces to contact groups of three or more, and public spaces which are conversations that anyone can join. Creating spaces is easy and it's all about what you need and who you want to collaborate with. Simply click on the plus button and decide if you want to create that direct space, group space, or check the box to make it a public space. You can use the search bar to find someone from your directory, or you can enter an email address which will send them an invitation to join the space and collaborate. And if you're working on something bigger like a project with multiple spaces, or a group that collaborates regularly, you might want to create a team. Think of a team as an umbrella that brings all related spaces together in one place. For instance, a marketing team could have separate spaces for campaigns, design reviews, and social media planning, all organized under one team for better structure and collaboration. Creating a team is simple. In the WebEx app, click on Teams in the navigation menu. Then, select Create a Team. Give your team a name, add an optional description to keep everyone on the same page, and invite people to join. From there, you can start adding spaces to your team for specific topics or workflows. Managing members of a team is just as easy. To add new members, go to the Teams section. Click on the team name and select the Members tab. From there, you can invite new people by clicking Add Team Members. You can either type their name or enter their email address. Once you are finished, select Add. Need to adjust someone's role? By right-clicking on their name, you can assign members as team moderators to give them extra permissions, like managing spaces or adding more members. And if someone no longer needs access, you can remove them from the team. Keeping your team updated and organized ensures everyone stays on track and has access to the right information. Collaboration and WebEx messaging flows all day long. To send a message, just start typing in the box at the bottom. You can add mention someone to get their attention or link to a space to keep things organized. Before you hit send, feel free to attach a file, format your text, or drop in an emoji to show a little personality. Replying to a message is easy too. 
Just hover over the message and check out some of these options to react and reply. I'm going to give this one a heart. Or maybe you want to start a thread and reply to this message specifically. You have a few more options too, like editing a message you've already sent. Just click the three dots to forward it, pin it, flag it for later, or mark it as unread. You'll never lose messages or content. You can always use the scroll bar to go through messages in the space, or you can click on the search bar and look for specific content. Or use my favorite option, the content tab. Find all the links or any files that have ever been sent within the space. Lastly, in the top right corner of the space, you'll find InSpace features like starting a new message, scheduling a meeting, sharing content, or making an audio or video call. If you want to search within just that space, click the magnifying glass inside the space. This keeps your search focused there instead of using the main search at the top, which searches the entire app. Thank you for watching. We hope this has helped you get started with WebEx messaging. See you next time.